Now, for Wednesday, November 17, 2010, it's the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap. Today's pricing games were the following. Lucky 7, Half Off, Most Expensive, Magic Number, Let Them Roll, and Bonkers. Our first contestant was Michael. He played Lucky 7 for a Chevy Equinox. First number was 2. For the second number, he believed it was 3. It was 3. He got it exactly right. Kept all $7. For the third number, he said it was five. It was a seven, cost him two dollars, so he's still doing pretty good. For the fourth number, he said it was four. Ooh, it was eight, cost him four dollars, so he had one dollar left. He had to get the last number exactly right to win. He chose nine. Hmm, he didn't go with five as the obvious. I thought it was four. The fifth number was... Wouldn't you know it was five? I can understand not going with the most obvious, but uh, I figured four would probably have been the right number, but uh, that's, that's too bad he lost. Sylvia played half off, and based on how she did on getting rid of half the boxes, one at a time. First, she believed the ice tea brewer was the half off price at $50 and not the slotless toaster at $45. I thought it was the ice tea brewer myself, but that was $50. The slotless toaster was $90. Then she believed the electric meteorologist at $50 was half off and not the light repair tool set at $20. The meteorologist was half off, it was $100. And finally, she chose the stock pot set at the half off price at $20 and not the board game at $30. Now that was a very easy choice. The stock pot set was $40, not $20. So Sylvia had a 1 in 4 chance of finding the $10,000 box. Boxes 6, 7, 10, 11 were left. She chose number 7, lucky number 7. When it was time to open the box, inside there was no $10,000. Number six had the ten grand. It was the box next door to the one she chose. Diana played most expensive for a secretary desk, Gucci accessories, and golf clubs. Two pair of golf clubs. She believed the golf clubs were the most expensive. The secretary desk. The price was held by Lanisha. She said it was quite a bit. And by a bit, she meant $4,698. Problem. The Gucci accessories, $3,535. If the golf clubs were more than $4,698, Diana would win all three prizes. The price of the golf clubs were $2,905. Honestly, the secretary desk had most expensive written all over it. And she didn't believe it was that? Helena played Magic Number 4, a game package and a trip to San Diego. She set the Magic Number to $1,116. Now, was that lower than the price of the trip to San Diego? $2,780. Yes, it was. Now, was it too low? The game package, I felt it wasn't going to be that expensive, but let's see. The game package was at $1,000. 539! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Magic number should have been set between 1540 and 2799. Think a member of the audience is shouting 2500. I wish she had listened to that guy, because he would have been right. Amber played Let Em Roll for a Mazda 3. She got one roll for free and had a chance to win two more rolls. For the pumpkin pie at 6.49, she believed the cranberry pomegranate juice from Northland 
was priced lower than six forty nine. Yep, three thirty nine. And for the turtles, the box of turtles, she believed that it was higher than three thirty nine. Well, that was two forty nine. It was lower. I thought it was higher myself, but I had a feeling something tricky was going to happen there. So Amber won two rolls. Got total two rolls. She won one roll. The get was the one free roll. So first roll, three cars and three thousand dollars. Amber decided to take the three thousand dollars and not roll the two remaining dice, or dice I should say, to get the two cars. Well, okay. If that's what she wanted to do, that's fine. So, she took the money instead of going for the car. Well, seeing as she won a little something, it means this. Honestly, I would have went on. And Drew said he'd, he'd go on too. I mean, she probably had a, would have had a good chance of getting two, die, uh, two cars on the die. Alright, finally, Bonkers was played by Rachel. The prize package was a leather home theater scene group, an LCD HD TV, and a popcorn cart. Fifty six forty five was the wrong price. Rachel first went higher, lower, lower, higher. Not the winning pattern. Then she went higher, higher, lower, lower. That was not right. Then she went higher, higher, lower, higher. Not it. Then she went higher, lower, lower, higher. Mm mm. Then she went higher, lower, higher, higher. That was not right. And she had like Three seconds left. Lower, higher, higher, higher was her final choice. No, oh, that was not it. Actual retail price was 8463 It was higher, lower, higher, lower as the winning pattern. She thought she put that, but no. Based on what I've written down, no. Well, we only gave away three thousand dollars and let them roll. And honestly, that should have been the win of the day if Amber had the guts to go on to get to go for the car. But no, she wanted to listen to her mama and take the three thousand dollars. And I gotta say, those pricing game results were very disappointing. Homer, do you have anything to add? For shame, indeed. I hope tomorrow and Friday will be. Big winning day, because we really need some winning here, folks. And I'm going to say this one last time. Listen to yourself when playing pricing. Don't listen to the audience. They don't have anything to lose. All right. This week, Price is Right Pricing and Recap is sponsored by Barilla Spaghetti. Barilla, the choice of Italy. That's it for the Pricing and Recap tonight. I'll see you tomorrow.